Good morning peeps, James Atkins fishing here. I'm on the traditional lake at Suffolk Water Park again because I fancy another go here. Um, I had a look round and I now I'll come here. It's, it's quite calm and there was a frost this morning. I had to clear the windscreen when I left this morning. <laughs> Still, I'm on peg 22. I'll show you here. Peg 22 and I'll be fishing out there. It's a little bit same old, same old. I'm going to be on the method feeder. As you can see, I've got it ready to go on there. I've got micros sorted out, cup of tea, phone sorted, nets all ready and rod is ready. That's my pro distance and my 4000 horizon reel again. And that's the horizon pro distance. I like to use now. I know I don't need the distance here, but that's what I like to use. Any road up. Now what I'm doing is, that's all the gear I use, I'm putting links in in the description down below the video, alright? So if you're interested in any of the matrix gear I'm using, if you go down in the bottom of the description, the links will all be in there, alright? So let's get set up, just we'll bait it up and cast out, and I'll catch you in a minute. Alright, let's get out there again. I had one cast and just left it about 10 minutes. Let's go for a second. Watch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a bit chilly this morning, but the sun will be round in a minute. It's just behind that big old tree at the moment. A bit still. There was a breeze earlier. I thought a bit put my brawly up just to keep that really chilly wind off. But it's not too bad now. Still. Ooh. Well, second cast, we're in. Geese are making play of noise, they're chasing that old heron off. <laughs> Good old boys. Feels like a bream. Nice bite that was too. I'll show you the bite I was using. Nice little bream. Well, that's a good start. Nicely in the bottom lip. Perfect. There we are, look. <laughs> We've got a chubby old belly on him. <laughs> Good start, isn't it? Right. Woohoo! This is what I'm doing. I've got a yellow 10mm Fuca bait on. That's what I got that bream on. Do it like that with my trusty spike. And then I'll put a few pellets in it and push them up that end and make a mound. many in there, just a few. Then what I do is I put the pellet up against that mound. I think they call them fat boy uh, 10 mils on the Fuca. Then I stick the hook so it's sticking up the air like that. Then put the pellets around it to keep the hook upright like that. There we are. So as soon as they take that pellet they got the hook straight away. If that worked for Jamie Hughes that works for me. Did last week, didn't it? <laughs> I had them that chub and barbel and them tench. Lovely. So we're off with a good start here. As you can see, my bait tray, that's all it's got. That's, there's my focus. I got a full load of them. So that's reds, blacks, whites, and yellows in there. They're all 10 mils in this box. Right, let's get out. Go back in the same spot.
rest. Come on. And there we are. Let's see what we can get this time. See if we can get another one. We're in again next cast. <laughs> Brilliant. Feels like another bream. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Just little nudges. Perfectly hooked, as they say. <laughs> Better. Cheeky monkey there, I'm fishing better than he is at the minute. I haven't seen him catch a fish yet. Froggy. <laughs> Nipple the rod off a rest. Look at that, look. 38 seconds <laughs> and I was picked up the rod first before I stopped the stopwatch <laughs> must have landed right in front of it Slab. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's pulling. Brilliant. I changed the Fuka bait to a red one. I don't know if it makes much difference if they're feeding. size. <laughs> Perfect. 38 seconds. Here we go again. Let's go on it. Yep, we're in again. <laughs> that one, look. 1 minute 39 seconds. <laughs> I'll zoom that one in, and that's for you, a friend of mine, Tim. He said he wanted to see what the bites looked like on the tip, so there you are, Tim. <laughs> Didn't wrench it right off the rod rest, but that's still a good touch. Birds are singing this morning. Cool. Yeah, look at that, another slab. Lovely jubbly. Well, I call them slabs. Some people will message me on there, I hope. <laughs> I'm on there and say they're not slabs. Certainly not a skimmer. That looked like the biggest one today. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's as big as my net, and that's a 22 inch. <laughs> yes, that is the biggest one today, so far. Well, I like the red fluke of bait, so that's showing something. Oh, 
<laughs> That's a bream as well, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Do nicely. Lovely. <laughs> They're feeding it there today. Brilliant. Well, we're out there again. Nicely, start the stopwatch as usual. 38 seconds, 1 minute 39 seconds, crikey. Lovely day now. Not always necessary to have the sun out when you're catching bream, but they seem to be right at the minute. Stopwatch on, don't forget that. Cup of tea. I thought I'd pour this cup of tea before I cast out, because you know what happened, you cast out, you pour in a cup of tea and boom, a tip go around. <laughs> Here we go again. Yep, we're in again. Yeah, another bream, I can feel it. And that one was one minute 59 seconds. So they're coming pretty quickly today. I changed the bait because I've got all the colours to see which one do better. So I had two on the yellow, two on the red, and I've just got one on the white. <laughs> so I don't think it matter what colour it is today. Yeah, you can see the white Fuga bait there, look. See it in the side there, look. So you get on there. It's a leech. Get that off you, mate. There you go. See if you can see the white Fuka bait. There he is, let's put him in the sun for you, look. Or is that too bright? Oh. There's another one on his face, look, look at that. I'll get that off there for you, mate. Under his chin. There you go, mate. It'd be better for you, wouldn't it? Brilliant. We're in again. Oh, oh. oh and it's come off. Blast. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're in again. But I have had about four casts with nothing, absolutely nothing. So I just altered the distance just a little bit, another two or three meters on the cast. And here we are. Very quiet here today, I'm the only one on the lake. As you see when I videoed around earlier, there's two bivvies there, but I think somebody's obviously booked the swim and they'll be here either today or I don't know. is a big one this time, and that don't matter. <laughs> yes, I suppose you can call that a skimmer, because that's about a skimmer size, isn't it? <laughs> Do nicely here, though. There we are again. Remember by that time, nine and a half minutes. Put my mic on so you can hear me properly. <laughs> Nine and a half minutes that took. <laughs> I slowed off a bit. I didn't expect it to keep going like that, so a minute, minute and a half every time I got a fish. <laughs> It was a big old bruiser too, he didn't fight much. Oh yeah, good one. Cool, he's all speckly, cool the heck man. Got a bit of sandpaper. <laughs> A bit of sandpaper, mate, you are. Lovely old jubbly. Brilliant. Well, peeps, I've got a pellet waggler on. And look what's happened. I see a big old carp that come right down here and I dangled a pellet in front of it and it took it. <laughs> Let's hope I get it. It might beat my 11 pounder, that looked good. Yeah, just down here in the reeds, I went across there on the reeds and I dangled a pellet. Just dangle it on the water and he boom. <laughs> Come right back in where I hooked him. <laughs> Hope we don't go in them reeds. put the pellet waggler on so because I see some basking over there and I flicked it over a few times at them they weren't interested but the same over there there's still some over there I don't think you pick it up on camera but this one come right in less than that the rod length out so I thought well in for a penny in for a pound so I dangle it in front of them <laughs> Let's 
heavy, cold hit, man. Always off again. <laughs> Won't get going near that, I suppose. <laughs> Turn it around, see what's in. fish. Oh, he's doing run her again. <laughs> I'll get back to you in a minute. Oh, 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 oh. I think he's beat now. See if I can fit it in the net. Oh, 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 oh. Cool, now I'm throwing the ball up. <laughs> I don't know, he's doing another runner. <laughs> oh, make that 11 pounder look a bit small. Cool, yeah, he's a big one. I'm not going to force it. Oh, oh he's off again. <laughs> Blame me, mate. Oh, oh, oh. Crikey. Get the hook out of you, mate. Call your mouth in half ripped about, innit? Now, heck, I'm a helicopter. Make a lot of noise. I'm a little waggler. <laughs> I'm going to weigh him. I'll get back to you in a second. <laughs> there he is. I'm not going to try and hold him too long. I just weighed it. It's just a whisker under 19 pound. <laughs> now that's a proper carp. Lovely. I'll put him back if it's a gentle. Hell man, heavy. Perfect. <laughs> well, peeps, <laughs> what a carp to finish the session. Fantastic, that's my biggest ever carp. Just a gnats under 19 pound. That's sort of, sort of a, I don't know, that's 18 pound 96. So that's, well, 19 pound we'll call that. Still, I hope you enjoy that and give me a thumbs up down the bottom. I'll catch you again, I don't know where yet. Bye bye for now.